Okay, so today we're going to use the lookup function. We're going to do a guided practice for it. So you should also have a worksheet that I've given you. This is going to help you understand it and work through it a little bit. So we're just going to do it together and we're going to do it also in the spreadsheet. So we're going to start with cell A23. When you click on A23, um, it, it looks like it's in the calories column, but it's actually attached <laughs> to cell A23. There's a drop down arrow. You're going to choose a food. And you're just going to choose a food all the way down to right here, cell A30. So I'm just randomly choosing foods because this is not stuff that I would actually eat. Oh, I'll choose apple again. Okay, so I have all these filled in. You cannot type them in. If you type them in, it will not recognize it, and then it can't um, complete the functions later on in this practice. All right, so number, we've completed number one and number two. Number three, the cell address of the first food under your diet. It's right here. It's an Egg McMuffin. So on my worksheet, I'm just going to fill it in, cell A23. Um, what is the range of the foods list? The foods list is up here, the range. So where do I want it to find the information from? The range starts here in A2, and it goes all the way to here, which is in L20. So the cell range for the foods list is right here. It's A2, or you could do A1 all the way over, it is A1, sorry, A1 all the way over to L20. So when you're writing a cell range, I hope you remember, a cell range, in order to write it accurately, it would be A1 colon L20. That's how you write a cell range correctly. So I'm going to put all this stuff over here. So you can see it, cell address. Okay, so now we're up to number five on our worksheet. This part, I hope you get it. It's not hard. It's just a different way of thinking. When you do VLOOKUP, what you, what you have to do is it doesn't look up by the column names. It looks up by the column numbers. So A represents column one. B is column two, column three, column four. I hope you see it. So L would be column one, two. 12. So I want to know the column labeled calories, which is right here, column C, which is equivalent to the third column. So um, calories column is number three. Okay, so now we're going to take it and put it all together. You're going to click on cell D23, and we're going to write a formula. So the formula starts with equals. And then you're going to type in V, look, up. Open parentheses. You're going to start with right here, your, what you want it to look up. I want it to look up Egg McMuffin. And then I'm going to put a comma. And I want it to look it up over here, which is A1, all the way down to L20. And I want it to look it up. <coughs> in column three. So I want it to tell me the calories of the Egg McMuffin. I don't want to have to do it. I want the computer to do it for me. You close parentheses and you press enter. Now let's see if it's right. Egg McMuffin, 250 calories. Okay, now before we drag this down, what is the one thing you have to do? You have to make this an absolute reference. To make it an absolute reference, you have to put a dollar sign in front of the A, one in front of the one, an 
L and in front of 20. Otherwise, it becomes a relative reference. So then you click and you drag. Now we're going to look up calcium. So we're going to go through the same process, but for calcium. <coughs> so the cell address remains the same. The food range list remains the same. Calories column. What is the column number for calcium? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So up here, column 11. So we're going to do equals V, look up, open parentheses. I want it to look up Egg McMuffin, comma, and where? I want it to look it up from A1 to L20. And what column specifically? I want it to look up calcium, which is column number 11. Close parentheses. But I'm going to go ahead and do the absolute reference so I can just fill it as I go. And I go to the black right corner, grab that handle, and I fill it. Okay, so sodium. Let's make this a little clearer. Calories. So I'm going to use this as my little work area to help you out a little bit. All right, now we have sodium. And if you notice, the cell address is the initial cell address is still the same. The food range list remains the same. But what is the column number that coincides with um, sodium? All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's column number six. Ah. All right, so we're going to do the function again. So it's equals V look up, open parentheses, look up egg McMuffin, comma. I wanted to look it up from A1 to L20, comma. And specifically, I wanted to look in column F, which is equivalent to rook column six. One, two, three, four, five, and six and then close parentheses. Before I press enter, I'm making it an absolute reference. And then I press enter. I'm going to click it and drag it all the way down. These should not have the borders, so I'm going to select those, come up here, and I'm going to go to no border. Well, then I have to do right and left border. Okay, so total fat. All right, so remember the cell address. I'm still looking up Egg McMuffin. And the reason it doesn't change is because here, when you autofill it, it becomes a relative reference and it looks for what it's going to. Um, so total fat, cell A23, I'm looking up an Egg McMuffin. I'm still looking in the same place. I'm just changing the column. So the column number that coincides with the fat is 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's column 4. So here we go. With information to write our function, it's equals V, look, up, open parentheses. I want it to look up the Egg McMuffin, comma, over here, which is my food list. And I want it to look specifically in column four, which is the same column as total fat. Close parentheses, but make this an absolute reference. And press Enter. We click it and you drag it. Not too bad, right? So you can see the total calories consumed. Okay, calories burned. So here we're going to use the lookup function. The biggest difference in lookup and vlookup, vlookup looks in like a range of cells, like a big, like here. This you would have to use vlookup because it's doing a vertical lookup. Down here, this is really easy. It's just H lookup, horizontal lookup. You're just looking up one way. 
Okay, so calories burned, so in cell A23, you're going to click here. When you do, this drop down appears. And for. <coughs> and we're going to select activities from A33 all the way down to A37. So you're going to click in each of these cells, and you're just going to select some activities. Oh, uh, choose bicycling class. I really like bicycling. Okay, so now we're going to write the <coughs> functions for lookup. Lookup is so much easier. So I'm going to use this area over here for my lookup workspace to help you guide the route. <coughs> so what is the cell address of my first activity? My first activity is backpacking. That is in cell A33. Uh, let's move it over a bit. Let's put it over here. All right, so that's my cell address of the first activity. The cell range for calories burned. Calories burned is over here. <clears throat> that cell range is B46. Well, yeah, B46 to B62. It's only going B46. You see what's it's B46, right? I'm sorry, A46. It's A46 all the way down to B62. These two cells are merged. So if you look here, it tells you which cell. So it's A46 to B62. <clears throat> okay, so now we're just going to do a simple lookup. Because as opposed to up here, it has to go this way and this way. It only has to go one direction here, so it's so much easier. And this one is equals lookup. Open parentheses. I want it to look up backpacking, comma. And I want it to look it up here. Close parentheses. But remember, you have to make this an absolute reference. Or here, I'm, we'll do it a couple of times together. Okay, so I apparently I did some I left the comma out. So I redid it. So the function is equals lookup. Let me do it this way so you can see it. A thirty three comma A forty six to B sixty two. We'll do it again here. Equals lookup. Open parentheses. I want it to look up bicycling, comma, and I want it to look it up down here. Close parentheses and press enter. Okay, so we'll do it again. Equals lookup. Open parentheses. Look up cleaning house. Yeah, I do that like every day. Comma. And then you're going to select where you want it to look it up. A46 to B62. Close parentheses and press enter. So we'll do it again. For basketball, equals lookup. Open parentheses basketball comma and look it up down here close parentheses and press enter and a bicycling comma and look it up down here so that's pretty easy it's not very hard at all <coughs> you'll save your um, work and then you'll upload it as an Excel document. Tomorrow you'll be doing a practice on your own. 
So if you have any questions about this, any at all, please raise your hand and ask those now because tomorrow you do have an independent assignment. I hope this was pretty easy, walks you through it, and have a great day.